is freezing. The sun's just popped out just for a little minute, which is very nice. It is officially the first day of winter here. And I think last night we had 35 millimeters of rain. Um, quite a lot of rain. Oh, um, we are back at work and everything's just stopped. <laughs> That's okay. So we've got a fair bit to do, but I wanted to quickly just show you a couple of things um, and what we've planted. We are still working on the hothouse. Um, it's, it's almost there, the outside of it anyway. I hope you're keeping warm. It's pretty, pretty cold here. We've got a top temperature of nine degrees today. Um, it, it's not too bad um, at the moment, would you believe? Um, but this morning was very bitter. I'll take you around to show you a couple of things. I wanted to show you was my new camellia bush that I planted last year. It's pretty much the only thing I've planted in the ground, um, in the backyard at all. Uh, and it's beautifully budded up and it's flowering, which is really pretty. The it is called Sweet Jane. This one's a little bit, so the flower there just really pretty that's one of the things I wanted to show you and I'll show you the other thing next the only thing I, I mean we've had a lot of rain overnight um, it's a little bit squelchy underneath but considering last year we had such drainage problems feels pretty good um, I'll quickly take you around a little bit squelchy there but that's okay we've had a lot of rain we haven't got any puddles I did um, there's our rain for overnight. I'll get rid of that. That should be down. So it's draining really quite well. There was a one little tiny puddle on the ground here but that's nothing. Um, I wanted to show you our berry bed very quickly. So we have in the middle here at the very first between those two beams we have the young berries. I've planted them, let's see how they go. Um, I have two spears in the background if, in case they don't make it. In the next, between these next two poles, we have autumn fruiting berries. Um, we've got uh, the autumn bliss. And I think it might be another autumn bliss on the other side. Uh, heritage heritage so that one is raspberry autumn bliss is a raspberry heritage another autumn fruiting one um, I got I purposely got two autumn fruiting ones and two early developing ones just so we've got a longer um, fruiting season I actually went to the shops this morning to do some grocery shopping and I'm actually horrified of how much uh, food was costing me. So the quicker we get this done, the better. And so these are the sort of sort of summer fruiting or early fruiting. I've got a Logan berry on this side, and I've got a Chilt. I'll see if I can get that around. So a Chilton raspberry, which is a summer fruiting. And around the either edge all the way up there, all the way there, all the way back there, I've got strawberries planted. I've got a couple that are missing, so I might have to, like I can't find them at all, um, but I've got plenty in the background to put in, um, or I can get some more. I dare say these will bud out next year, so I'll get lots of runners hopefully, and they're all different varieties. Um, I ordered some of them I don't even know. Oh, this one I do because I ordered it. I got some sumo, some sumo strawberries. Um, so these are these ones. Um, and I've got some really big, big ones as well. I'm not great with names. But anyway, I'm hoping for a really good patch of strawberries this year. And the empty bed over there will have, I was going to do another berry bed, but I've just decided to do an espalier apple tree on that one. So I'll put a, a couple more runners to give us some more wires and we'll put that there as well. So that's our little raspberry patch. Quick little update. We're getting the 
the um, Sun Tough plastic art we still haven't finished. We've got sort of the top half to do. There'll be a video on that coming up later. But as I said, everything's ground to a halt and that's okay. But every time I walk out here, I'm just so happy with our little shed and our little chooking shed. We'll try and be prepared to get chooks in a couple of months. The quicker we get it, I think the better. I still can't believe how much money I spent with so little um, to show for it this, this morning on groceries. And so the quicker we can get to that, that would be great. Hey guys, I, just a very quick video this morning. I hope that you're going okay. I hope that you're keeping warm. Um, we are gonna get back into stuff when we can. Um, it's itching to get it done, but we'll get there. There's no rush, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, I wish I had more to show you, but I don't. Um, I'm just hoping that everyone's okay out there in this wind and in the cold and keep it warm. Um, take care and have a great day, bye. Sorry, little side note at the end here. My Daphne, which I've never ever had success before, has so many bugs on it. And I can not wait. Or even through the bottom there. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Love it. Love it. Love it.